it's quiet. not no, that he quiet. demands no, it from us. Quiet. It's just Damn, he wants us so to be the best we can be. So he pushes us to excellence. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that sums up TBC. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, quiet, everyone. What we try to do with the Texas Boys Choir is to put the boys' interests first. Just keep the tradition going and of the boys' sound that you don't hear that much. To sing at such an extraordinary caliber of artistry and musicianship, it is so rare. And I think, you know, it, it channels that energy and it, it keeps them focused on something that's good and positive and important in their lives. Even just to be a part of it is really amazing. It's a difficult thing to have a boy that's fifth or sixth grade ready to sing professionally and tour professionally. That's a hard animal to, to build and have. He can take them from singing this extremely complicated piece of work that a lot of adults couldn't do to doing something that's just fun and entertaining. People don't always see that side of it. They see us in concert and they think, wow, that was a really nice concert. It was a good choir. And uh, people don't always see the, the path that the choir has to go down in order to get there. The Boys Choir was started in 1946 by a gentleman called George Bragg. And shortly after it was formed, he realized that in order to get a larger pool of talent because they wanted to have a world-class boy choir, not just a community boy choir, but a world-class boy choir. He said, to do that, we must find a larger metropolitan area. And so the decision was to move to Fort Worth. And that's where the boy choir has been ever since. Fort Worth has had a long-standing tradition of respect for the arts and support for the arts. And so it, it was a good fit. They rehearse every day for two periods. And when we go on tours, we you know, take their academics with us. People say, oh, it must be fun to tour during school. Well, well, yes, but they still have to do homework. Touring is so fun. Touring is what uh, these kids look forward to. Tour is awesome. Awesome, right? It's awesome. You get yeah. to see we just cool stuff like St. Like Louis, the Arch. Sometimes that would be a performance at a college campus on their concert series. It can be something like a movie premiere that we've done in the past. We went to a movie premiere in Austin. That was, I think, the first big thing that I went with them for. And we were singing the music for the background. You know, we've had invitations to come sing as far as, from far as away as China and, and Canada. In very prestigious places like Carnegie Hall, the Basilica in St. Louis, we've toured all over the, the nation. And then we also recorded with Kirk Franklin. It was really cool. He, he was really nice and he was just like an ordinary guy. We put forth probably around 250 hours of rehearsal before we get to go on tour and perform these pieces. This is not just music. It's social. It's community. 
its belonging. And when children are involved in these types of activities, that keeps them from making other choices, which are not necessarily positive. And so it's a way of, of helping just to focus positive energy in their lives. Uh, these boys will look back years from now and they will cherish all those weddings they had to sing on Saturday. They'll cherish all those extra rehearsals they had. You know, those are the things that are filed away in their lifelong memories. And that's why I believe people see that and they say that's important. We want to support that. So what, what I'm trying to do is to identify patrons that understand that the boys really are approaching this world-class caliber of performing. My whole idea here is what if we took the boys and we sang these works that were originally written for boys and have them accompanied by the original instruments at the original pitch. For example, Bach would have used boy sopranos in his soprano section, not women. Many of your modern recordings are women and men, which stands to reason because there's not a lot of boy choirs. But if you're going to record something, it needs to add something uh, both musically to the mix and also historically. And this is where the boys can sing these historic works as a historic ensemble because boys today sound like the boys did 500 years ago. You know, you're gonna have that type of sound. Now, you're, you're looking at, at something that's worthy of being recorded. I just want the boys to achieve their best potential. And if they do that, it's gonna be world class because they, they have that capability within themselves. It's just, how can I get that out of them? And so that's what the Legacy Project's about. We're hoping we will have people that identify with that, you know, long after I'm gone, long after they may be gone, these are the things that remain. That's why it's called a legacy. And, and I think that would be a brilliant way for people to say, I want to invest in this. I want to help carry out this tradition that's been going for hundreds of years, help it get into the next century. I really think it's, it's for a great cause to uh, give these opportunities and these privileges to these young men to uh, be a part of this organization. Fort Worth has always been a, a city that supports the arts and, and, ha, and loves the arts and the Boys Choir have been supported by the Arts Council and by Fort Worth over the years and we just need to keep that, that going and make it even stronger and stronger. You know, you have to have a balance and even though uh, there are lots of needs in the community, sometimes you need something that's artistic you know it, it brings joy and it brings contentment and I think that's important that that balance be there because we want to do what's going to make the boys survive not just now but for the years ahead I feel like a lot of what I learn what I've learned from the choir is going to stick with me for the next you know 30 or 40 years the rest of my life and it's going to help me uh, learn even more about what I want to do and what who I want to be I would definitely uh, recommend this to any any young boy who who wants to join the choir because they will not regret it. They will not regret it for their life. I think they offer hope to the boys, and I think they they also can offer hope to an audience. You know that an audience can come and see and hear such beautiful music. I, I think it lifts the spirit. You know, it's it's something that we just have to maintain and make sure that that this continues to go for another hundred years. It's, it's an amazing environment where the kids are all love what they're doing and, and you can see the excitement and joy on their faces. I think that's, that's what it's all about. If you think you might want to support the Boys Choir, come, come hear a concert and you'll be sold. You'll be sold.